Parker. Parker. Yeah, me too. I, I just need to replace some bulbs for the when, for the turn signal store. Good morning and welcome to McLovin Moto. On today's episode, I want to show you my 1966 Chrysler Newport. I just picked this car up. I've known about it being for sale for a little over a year and uh, just happened to call the owner. I had some cash and wanted to go look at it and he said it was still for sale. So I made a deal on it and brought it home. It's a uh, two door. It's got a 383 big block. It's got a 727 torque flight automatic. Uh, it is a factory air conditioning car. It uh, was originally bought down in California and uh, let's take a look and you can tell me what you think in the comments. If you take the time, please like, please subscribe, uh, please share my videos, that helps my channel. Would very much appreciate it. And uh, let's get into looking at this 1966 Chrysler. All right, everybody, here's the car. The color is turbine bronze metallic. It was a special order color in 66. I just put those Chrysler center caps or poverty caps on the car it came with a set of uh, actual wheel cover hub caps but i didn't like them so i took them off it's got a vinyl top the newport was the base model of the chryslers there was the chrysler newport then there was a new yorker there was a 300 then there was an imperial So this is a base car. It's got roll-up windows, manual roll-up windows. Uh, really the only option that it has is the uh, air conditioning. I think the vinyl top was also, also an option. You can see it's got a little bit of body damage on this passenger side. Looks like the driver was uh, at some point was driving by braille. You can see the damage there, unfortunately. And then here, And then back here over this fender skirt. I love these skirts. I love the way the uh, I love the way the roof line slopes off the back. Just a really neat, neat design. Get you around the whole car, and then we'll check out the check out the motor. All right, let's pop the hood. Here's the motor, 383 Chrysler big block. It's got a two barrel carburetor. As you can see, it's got air conditioning. It's pretty much all factory. I'm missing a fan shroud. Missing a fan shroud. It doesn't have power brakes. It's got uh, manual drum brakes, but it does have power steering. But yeah, it does have, it does have all the air conditioning parts still. I haven't tried it. It's a little bit cold here in Oregon in December. There's the motor. Let's look at the interior. The uh, owner prior to me had these seats recovered. I don't believe it's a factory. Uh, it's a factory recover. It's just, uh, but it is nice. There are factory seats for this car. As you can see, it doesn't have any uh, carpet in it. It was taken out at some point. There's the dash. Pretty awesome dash. I'll show you from the driver's side here in a minute. And there's the back seat. I'll move this one. But as you can see, it needs a headliner. 
gonna need a headliner, but the seats are done, gonna need carpet. This uh, door panel is uh, pulling up, I think because it's been leaking some water out of this corner, but pretty neat door panel. Let's go around to the driver's side and I'll show you that. All right, here we are on the driver's side. You can see, oh, this one's pulling up too a little bit. Oh, door panels could use some repair. Look at this dash, guys, look at this. This steering wheel. I think the horn works. Yeah, horn works. Really cool gauges. Factory radio still in it, it works. These AC cars have these vents in the middle. If it didn't have AC, those would not be there. That's kind of cool. Uh, if you reach in here, there's the glove box. Or I'm sorry, the, the ashtray. Pretty good size, pretty neat. You got an ashtray for both, both driver and, and passenger, which is cool. Floors are solid. Again, here's the back. Let me grab the keys and we'll look at the trunk. Yeah. There's the trunk, everybody. Look at that thing. It's massive. Massive. Not rusty. I mean, you got some surface rust here. It had some mats laying on the floor that were kind of gross. Got the jack. Love the tail lights on this car. The rear end of this car is pretty awesome. So yeah, if you have any questions for me about this car, leave them in the comments if you've uh, ever owned one. As far as my plans for it, the uh, I need to work on the lighting. I'm having trouble with brake lights. I got a new brake light switch. It needs turn signals. Uh, I think that might just be bulbs. It needs a, uh, I would love to put carpet in it to make it a little quieter. Motor needs a tune up. If I'd like to put electronic ignition in it, it's got points still right now. Uh, and it runs okay, but it could run better with uh, with a set of, uh, with an electronic ignition and, and a tune up for sure. The guy before me worked on the brakes. The, the front brakes are new. It has, uh, like I said, no power brakes, but they actually work pretty well. And uh, so I'm not uh, not too upset about that. Power steering, those are the hubcaps I just bought for it. Pretty cool Chryslers. I didn't even know those existed until a couple weeks ago. Really like the way that turned out. But overall guys, pretty solid car. Leave a comment, please like and subscribe. Thank you for stopping by McLovin Moto. And hopefully here soon I will have a walk walk around and a detailed video about my other 66 Newport. It's still at the shop getting a little work done, trying to fine tune it a little bit before I uh, put it back on the road. Another awesome feature of these cars. These are blinkers on the uh, fenders. There's one on both sides. Super cool. I'm gonna show you this one here. You can see how they stick up. How cool is that? Super cool. I love this trim. Obviously this one's dinged, but I love the trim down the side. A little go fast trim for us. Vinyl top could use some work. You can see where it's starting to come up. It's also got a little bubbling. Actually, I think it's on the other side. Yeah, right here. A little bit of, a little bit of bubbling underneath that vinyl top, which isn't going to be good when I pull it off. Just a few spots that aren't real great. Overall though, a few dents, but pretty solid car.